Hi, I'm Alistair Davidson, a master trainer for DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to have a quick look at keyframing audio. If we have a scene like this where we're trying to put music to our video, we want to make sure that our talent can be heard at all times. If I hit play on this clip, you'll find that the music can be a little bit overpowering. The hype like core came out a few days ago. It came out of cryo. It's very difficult to hear what the actors are saying without being distracted by the audio itself. Now I could reduce the level of the audio completely if I hit play now. We're trying to fix it. The actors are much easier to hear, but there are sections where they don't speak at all. Where we might want that music to swell again. Now there's different ways of doing this. The simplest way would be to actually cut the clip and then raise the volume in the sections in between. But this isn't the cleanest way of doing it. What we're going to look at is we're going to have a look at adding keyframes to our audio channels here. Now there's different ways of adding keyframes to our audio channels, but I'm going to first have a look at doing it in the user interface like this on the timeline directly, and then I'll have a look at doing it on the inspector. If I zoom in on any audio clip, you'll see we get this horizontal white line. And this allows us to adjust the clip gain simply by clicking on it and dragging it up or down. If I hover my mouse over that clip gain line, you'll see I get a small up and down arrow indicator. And now if I hold Alt if I'm on Windows or Option if I'm on a Mac key, and then left click, you'll see I can just add keyframes wherever I click. I'm going to add four like this, and now I can adjust that middle section of audio independently of the rest of the clip. So what we should have is our talent talking with the audio quite low, and then when they stop talking the music will swell, and then it will drop back down again as our talent starts to talk. You died. The hyperlight core came out. And that's how to do it directly on the timeline itself. But let me pick another part of the timeline where the talent stopped talking. We'll pick here. I can do the same thing in the inspector. And to do it, I'm going to open the inspector window in the top right here. I'm going to select the clip and make sure I have it selected. You'll see that I have these small diamond icons next to each of the parameters in here that can be keyframed. And this is our auto keyframe indicator. So next to volume, I'm just going to click on this once. I'm going to move my playhead along again. And you'll see here now that it's added two keyframes. If I start to raise that, you'll see that it just raises the rest of the clip. I need to have four keyframes like I did earlier. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pull my playhead back a little bit. Add another keyframe in here. and then add another keyframe. And now I can adjust that middle section of audio quite easily. If at any point I want to jump between keyframes, I can use the left and right arrows either side of the auto keyframe button. And you'll see I can jump through any of my keyframes there on the timeline. It's also worth noting that I can place the playhead anywhere on the timeline. And if I adjust the volume parameter, you'll see that Resolve automatically now adds a keyframe for me there, whilst the auto keyframe button is active. I hope this has been helpful. Let us know if there's anything else you want to know about DaVinci Resolve by contacting the ScanPro video team.